meteorologist Kate Bilo is in our CBS Philadelphia next weather sphere. And Kate, still no rain on the horizon. Really nothing to talk no. about, Jim. We need the rain so badly. We have not had rain since September 28th. And even then, it was only about a tenth of an inch. We are so far below average. And really, our next chance for rain, not until Sunday. And even then, it doesn't look like the good soaking that we need. So it's another dry day outside as we take a look around the area. Margate showing the sun now shining. It is brighter earlier now that we set those clocks back yesterday. Bethlehem starting off with kind of a milky sky. And we're seeing some clouds up in the Poconos as well. You will notice a few more clouds out there today, thanks to, of course, a system moving in from the west. It's a warm front, which is helping to ramp those temperatures up again. But the new record, we just keep adding to this number every day. We're now at 36 days officially without rain. Again, the last measurable rain was September 28th. The old record has been obliterated, and it was 150 years ago. So that should tell you something about how rare this is to have this many days in a row without any precipitation. We're now at 36 days, and we may get upwards of 40 days before we finish this out. We have a couple of spotty shower chances, even a sprinkle chance today. Wednesday into Thursday, a cold front doesn't look like much that will be measurable. Our next chance likely not until late Saturday night or more likely Sunday, which would again just add more days to this dry stretch. Clouds and radar showing that system, that warm front that's setting up shop to the north, and there is a cold front associated with it. The problem is the center of the low, which is up across parts of Iowa and Illinois this morning, is going to lift north, and that means this system is going to take its time getting in. And in the meantime, it's really going to pump that warm air from the south and west right back into our region, similar to what we felt on Halloween. We could be looking at another 80 degree day. Today is not 80, but it is slightly above average. It's been a chilly start to the morning. We're in the 30s and low 40s out there, but we're up to 65 for the afternoon high. And while that may sound cool compared to the warm weather we've had, it's actually above average. Our normal high for today's date is 61 and it gets even warmer. Your election day forecast, make your choice. When are you going to head out to the polls? No matter when you go, the weather will cooperate with you. We're at 57 degrees at 8 a.m. It seems like it's been a while since we've even had any inconvenient weather that has kept you inside or kept you from doing anything. It's uh, we're getting used to this a little bit too much, perhaps 68 degrees at noon. No problems there. 73 by four o'clock and 69 degrees after the sun goes down at seven o'clock. Our high tomorrow expected to reach 76 degrees. Now we went back and looked through all past election days in Philadelphia history. Of course, they're all different dates, right? Because it's the first Tuesday in November, but the warmest was back in 1936 on November 8th. It was 76 degrees. On November 8th, 1936, the coldest was November 6th of 2012, the rainiest November 7th of 1876. It was 1.21 inches. So on this November 5th election day, we may have we may tie the record, even though it's not an official record in the record books, but tie the number of the warmest election day in Philadelphia history. Now, tomorrow's record is 80. I don't think we get close to that, but another record is challenged. Our forecast high Wednesday is 80 degrees. The record 79 in 1948. If we do hit 80, it will be the second latest 80 on record. The latest the latest in the calendar year that we've ever been in the 80s was November 15th, way back in 1993. Other than that, we've the earliest basically has been the fourth or fifth. We've never had one as late as the sixth, except for that one single time back in 1993. Last time we had an 80 degree day in November, by the way, was in 2015. Looks like a good chance we'll get there. And here's why. Again, that warm front approaching, lifting north, and we've got sunshine returning for tomorrow afternoon. A very mild, pleasant election day. We start off with some clouds, and then it's just warm. And a southwest breeze will really ramp those temperatures up on Wednesday. That's when I think we could hit that 80-degree mark before the front comes in Wednesday night. Doesn't have much rain with it, maybe a stray sprinkle, and then temperatures will start to back off a little bit through the end of the week. So let's take you through your next weather seven-day forecast. You can see the ups and some downs, but even the downs are still above average. Our average high 61 today by tomorrow. The average is just 60 and we've got temperatures above that number pretty much every day here, especially Wednesday when our high of 80 would break the record of 79. Thursday, we're back to 70 more seasonable Friday and Saturday and sunshine returns. Our next best chance for rain comes with some showers that may pop up on Sunday.